And welcome to another video. We are back with Half Sun's Table Talk. I am your host, Tony Laskovich, and joining me as per usual is the Gingenator. How are you doing, my friend? I'm doing good. Um, a lot going on with uh, holidays. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's Christmas <laughs> oh, yeah. Eve tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, man. Like... I haven't bought any Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so That's... bad. I do this every year. I wait till the very last second. And it sucks because like we don't discuss gifts. We usually give them a little early if we do buy them uh, before the day. But Amanda is good about it and I'm bad about it. So it's so awkward because she always wants to give them to me early. And I'm like, I haven't gotten you shit. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, I'll oh, get you back oh, tomorrow. Oh, that's tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I actually had a very similar conversation with Janet. Um, so uh, the topic of getting each other gifts came up. And yeah. like we live together like this. That's common. Um, and she was like, yeah, I'm going to I already got you a few things. And like my anxiety skyrocketed immediately. Yeah. And I'm like. All right, we've been like so busy over the last like few weeks. We had Corona. Mm -hmm. We didn't really have time to go do anything, shop or anything. Like, and then when we did have time, we were slammed. Mm -hmm. So, like, she's like, "I already got you a few things," and I'm like, "Oh shit!" <laughs> <laughs> so I oh, rushed no. to Amazon. <laughs> oh man, I should yeah. just I should have just used Amazon, but I feel like Amazon provides too many things to be like i just the indecision would i don't know i you i actually searched amazon and i quote gifts for girlfriend <laughs> and it and, and it, it it came up with some banger ideas all right. so as I, I was i was very pleasantly surprised i got her something that already arrived and then um something that won't arrive until january 1st okay <laughs> so Sorry, you're going to have to wait, Janet. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I actually, uh, for her birthday, her birthday was the beginning of November. Uh, her, her gift, she got a new Apple Watch. And it, unfortunately, they had to order it. Because, of course, I waited to the last minute. And uh, it, she didn't get it to like two weeks after her birthday. But she, I mean, at the end of the day, she's somebody that she doesn't need anything. I don't need anything. You know? Yeah. I, it just feels weird buying each other gifts, I guess, at this place. And I don't know. What is today's topic? Um, unsurprisingly, nothing to do with Christmas. Um, okay. It's about Oreos, actually. Have you ever seen anyone with the uh, leaving Santa as Oreos? Were no, there? that's fair. Yeah, yeah that's I, fair. I, by default, chocolate chip have always intuitively been the default choice for saint nick however in some cases i have seen oreos used as an alternative that's fair i yeah I, that's fair all right okay well um all right so i'm gonna i'm gonna ask you a question um I again questions. i i do this a lot okay. i know you hate it it's okay yeah let's do it <laughs> So, um, do you know how, uh, people collect Pokemon cards? Um, no, no. Okay, cool. <laughs> well, that's it for today, folks. No, I'm just kidding. Um, so, uh, people collect Pokemon cards. A lot of them are like super rare. Okay. Um, uh, even people in this industry, podcasters, Logan Paul, huge collector of ultra rare Pokemon cards. Oh, I think I heard a story where he, did he buy like a really wildly expensive he, he I one? believe, sold or bought. I can't remember what yeah, the transaction it was. was. Uh, yeah, it was a first the... edition holographic Charizard for like a hundred grand. Oh my <laughs> gosh. They go for that. Yeah. But yeah. A card going for yeah, six a figures. Piece of cardboard, no bigger than a credit card. I mean, I'd make you one. <laughs> right i discount the hell out of it too you to i pay. would hope so this one's this one i made is only five grand <laughs> <laughs> to the same tune in early september of this year um there was a specific 
pack of Oreos released. Um, not just one. There's like okay. a full a full run of Oreos. Okay. Um, Pokemon themed, like the the actual cookie. I'm trying to imagine what the hell a Pokemon themed Oreo looks like. So you know, like a normal Oreo, it has like the Oreo logo, like Im- embossed into the into the cookie. Yes, I have a mental um, picture of that. So okay. these Pokemon ones have like the image of the That's heads Pokemon. of different okay. Pokemon. Okay, I'm following. Um, the Oreo situation is not unlike the Pokemon card situation. Uh, people have been mass purchasing these packs of Pokemon Oreos, and so. That feels weird because if you're you're mass purchasing them with the idea of collecting them, they're a perishable item. Right. And uh, the other thing is, in order to f- figure out what you have, don't you have to open them and then yes. expose them to? So here's <laughs> okay. here's where the crazy part. Um, in because because in I'm these... assuming each pack is different from one another, yeah. which inspires They're all the random. mass... Okay. They're all random, just like a pack of Pokemon cards. Okay, I'm, I'm here with you. All right. So, uh, each one... Okay. Um, each pack of Oreos comes with uh, an assortment of random Pokemon Oreos. Uh, one of... There, there's 16 different ones. One of them is Mew. You know, you know what Mew is? M E W? Yes. Like the little pink I, so, the pink mouse. E, yes. Okay. Through either playing the Pokemon Go app when that was the rage. How many years ago was that? Like six years. Something. Um, I feel like as soon as you said the name, instinctively I knew it was M E W. Yeah. I just couldn't put a fa- okay, so it's a pink. It's a pink floating mouse. Okay. Uh, I feel like I can visualize what he is. Yes. Okay. okay. So I'm with you in, in your mind. Mm-hmm. Um, what, what's the number that you would put on a single Oreo, uh, as a value? Like, what would you pay for an Oreo cookie? I'm going to give you a range because that's, I mean, you're buying them when you buy a, uh, a pack of Oreos, you're Essentially buying them in a bulk. You're not buying yes. a single Oreo. Uh, I got to imagine where prices are today. It's probably like five, six bucks or something. I'm guessing. For, for a pack. For yeah. a pack. There's probably, what, 30 cookies that come in one? I don't know. Maybe 20-ish cents? Okay. Maybe even less than that. I don't, I don't know. 20 cents feels right. I'm going to go 20 cents. 20 cents. 20, okay. 20 cents even like... <clears throat> Ah, yeah, I'm going to stick with that. 20 cents. What if I told you that people on eBay are selling these Mew Oreo cookies for up to 100 grand? <laughs> <laughs> what in the actual fuck is happening to... Our, wha- S- okay. <laughs> so they're buying the single... They don't even get the other... 29 cookies or whatever no, the, the no, made just up. just the one Mew cookie. The made up cookie count I came up with in the <laughs> earlier part of our discussion. Holy shit. Yeah. So, yeah. so they, they don't even get the whole pack of close up there. Yeah. It's one collectible here's the, for okay, a okay, short okay, time here's cookie. The, here's the other scary thing. I would make damn sure I knew how they shipped that thing. If I dropped six figures. Oh yeah. On a cookie. Wouldn't you be scared to death of it getting getting mishandled? Oh yeah. Let's just say you'd man, do you the only way I would trust that is if you had a container filled with something that was shaped like a said Oreo cookie that it could set down inside and then where you could put more foam on top of it that was custom built to hold said Oreo in a box made of a resilient material. <laughs> We're talking about a hundred thousand bucks, man. Yeah, it, it for would, an for Oreo. Me, for it, me, I wouldn't accept anything less than like uh, a plexiglass case, um, 
yeah, and plexi- some kind of like yeah. viscous fluid and then inside of that would be a hermetically sealed <laughs> oreo shaped cookie so that this cookie doesn't like it's I, it's shock proof i because you got think about this just about anything good yeah. could 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 get a crumb to cough oh my I, god yeah I mean, what what happens to that cookie then what happens to the value of the and who established this value anyway? You know what? That cookie's worth a hundred grand. Somebody came up right. with this. That that through supply and demand, whatever it might be, <laughs> that they arrived at this price on this cookie. And there are so many factors into once you've once you've bought this, you you're you're all in. You're you're into this. I have one hundred thousand dollars that I'm willing to burn to to, to get this cookie. Right. So once you you get it there like i said there's what happens if the integrity of the cookie is compromised in some way and like there's crumbs there's there's a, <laughs> what's there's, the return there's a little, policy there's a little chip of the uh of the the cream <laughs> filling that oh you, there are so many things that could go wrong with buying if, a cookie for a hundred grand if somebody bought an oreo cookie for a hundred grand and it showed up destroyed do you eat it and then ask for a refund, or do you send back the remains? <laughs> I mean, that's how it works with Grubhub and DoorDash. You can just you can just put in an app and say uh, this. I don't know. <laughs> so on on eBay, yeah. Um, there's the, the the listing price isn't guaranteed to be a hundred grand. So they've they've ranged from like as low as like fifty bucks, okay, to a hundred grand. Like anywhere in between. Well, yeah. Well, obviously, buy low, sell high. If they're going, right. if you're, if you can get one for fifty bucks, which would feel weird in and of itself. <laughs> Buying an Oreo for yeah, fifty bucks. Yeah, you can bucks. turn around and uh, resell it for a hundred grand. Like I'm in. Yeah. So, um, but that, you know, it'd be scary to feel oh like God, I it'd got, be terrifying. I got caught holding on to an Oreo for fifty bucks, and now nobody cares about them anymore. <laughs> yeah. Um, so on average, they sell for around 15 grand, like mint condition. (laughs) Yeah. And I hate that. I have to mint condition. Do you mean green filling? (laughs) Unfortunately, no. Some listings promise a mint condition cookie. One claims that the cookie was only handled with tongs. Um, some of them, the tongs, (laughs) they would damage it. Yeah, (laughs) man. Um, some of them uh, show pictures um, of the snack tucked, and I read this from the article, the snack tucked safely in a plastic baggie. Mm. It's like three millimeters thick. Like, there's, there's no safety in a Ziploc. No, that's what I'm <laughs> saying. Like, I have so many questions when it comes to, like, how this transaction takes place. It just, they're like, they're, because it's purchasing a cookie, there are so many things that could go sideways. Yeah. And here's, here's where it gets a, like, it's still ridiculous, but it's more reasonable than that. Um, some collectors are selling full packs. Yeah. People are selling packs mm-hmm. of these Oreos on eBay. So unopened where you're unopened, guessing. You're, yeah, it's complete chance okay. that you might get a good one yeah uh for as much as twelve hundred dollars so, so at the end of the day people are uh are buying these on ebay uh because they have to be selling out yeah in a an actual grocery store where you'd normally get them I, I can't even imagine how hard it would be to find one like and i'm gonna say this as a pun in the wild Oh man, like I it, now you got me thinking. I'm gonna start selling Oreo cookies. <laughs> Need to find where they're uh, where they're selling these because uh, you got to think the reason that they're going for this price is always because of supply and demand. There's no way that people are gonna buy them for 1,200 bucks when they can just go down to um, Walmart grocery store and buy them for you know what I mean? Yeah, it's it's the same concept as like people nowadays they. Um, they snipe uh, purchases of like graphics cards online and they sell them for 
four thousand percent profit. Like yeah. it's it's a like these people whoever's like pointing the marketplace on this going out there and buying as many packs from stores as they possibly can so they can create their own monopoly yeah yeah like the, and i'm sure there's thousands of these people doing it but like at the end of the day it's it's smart though yeah i mean you can't hit the player yeah. at the end of the day the people buying these two got to take some accountability yeah it's, like if nobody buys them, then yeah, they're they're just they're, they're just regular Oreos. Yeah, they're just cookies. But like the the consumer puts all the power into these things. Mm-hmm. It's the, I mean the same thing with graphics card. If nobody bought a three thousand dollar thirty eighty on eBay, mm-hmm. they wouldn't be worth three thousand dollars anymore. Or a twelve hundred dollar PS five. I mean, right? Like it's 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 all down to people will pay for that. Yeah, it, it ultimately, the, I think the the moral of the story is the value of any one thing is, can ultimately be left up to someone's perspective. Yeah, it's 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 only worth as much as you'll pay for it. Yeah, and if you'll pay tons of money for something, then that's what it's worth. It, at the end of the day, too, I don't fault or think it's like a shortcoming for the person to to buy the cookie if they have. Now, now, if that was their last six figures they had in the bank, <laughs> then you made the wrong choice. Yeah, you made a poor uh, <laughs> financial decision for sure. But Ugh. if uh, they had an extra, you know, they had lots more where that came from, which you would assume. <laughs> uh, that's ultimately, I mean, there are people out there that can do that. And, yeah. And they are, obviously. And I don't see anything wrong with it. No, I don't either. It makes up. It makes for interesting articles like that. So yeah, I mean, if you've got one hundred thousand and one dollars, don't buy one of these Oreos. <laughs> but like, it's I don't know, man. It's I can't even I can't even fathom like the mind space you'd be in if you were in the position to buy an Oreo cookie, one Oreo cookie for a hundred grand. <laughs> All right, guys, uh, that is our Oreo cookie story. That is <laughs> fascinating to me. Uh, let us know in the comments if you are someone that has ever overpaid in value for something that you really, really wanted and you know that you kind of, uh, I don't, ripped off is the wrong word. I mean, I, I paid extra for a PlayStation 5. I As soon as I said that, I mean, I, that came from a place of, I, I've been, been there, I've, paid for something that in the 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 actual um real value of what it sells for retail was far less than what i paid for it because of supply and demand uh let us know if you have some experience with this and uh until then we will see you guys in the next video okay bye bye